What do you think? Shouldn't you wait to find out what the sex is first? I'm just trying to be prepared. I was gonna buy all the outfits for both a baby boy and a baby girl, and whatever I pop out in six months, I'll just return the other clothes. Or you could just wait a couple of months until the scan and find out then. But I want it to be a surprise. You can't have it always. Yes, I can. I am pregnant. And I am vomiting everywhere like a bulimic on a house party. And in three months' time, this body is going to be the size of a fucking house. So yeah, I will have it every way I can. Do I make myself clear? You know what? I would hate to be John right now. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little hormonal right now. You know I'm young. And I've got this hot little body and it's gonna get ruined. Three years. Three years I've been going to Barry's boot camp and it's all fucked after one night of oops the condom split. Four words. Oops the condom split. Four little words and in six months time my vagina is going to be as wide as the Grand Canyon as it pushes out another human being. So yes, I'm a little stressed right now. I apologize. Maybe we should just go grab a coffee. You know, sit down, relax, have a cappuccino. Kelsey, do you know what coffee does to a baby? It will be obese and hyperactive before it can even walk. So no, either we're both going to have organic green tea or I'm going home. You got it? Ugh. Why dump the body here when you murder her in your house four miles away? And we weren't just gonna leave her in his house, was he? No, I mean, why come here? It's open, people come through here all the time. It's not exactly the best place to disperse of a body. Well, maybe he was going somewhere else. Got startled and dumped and ran. His alibi places him on the other side of London. His alibi is not a real alibi. It's only not credible because it's his sister. What's he supposed to do if he was actually with his sister that night? You don't think it was him, do you? No. For God's sake, look. I don't know what you guys do over in the USA, but here it's simple. If there's enough substantial evidence to convict someone, then that's it, we convict. I thought it was innocent till proven guilty. Yeah, well, when you prove guilty, then you gotta prove you're innocent. And he can't. So let's get back to the real work, yeah? Hey, look, I don't know whether it's because I'm an American or whether it's because I'm a woman, but the fact is, I'm a detective, same as you. So when I say something, don't just shrug and walk away. Listen to me, take me seriously, because I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's about looking at what's not there, not just what is. If this man is innocent, he's gonna go inside for a long, long time. And I'm not willing to let that happen unless I'm sure beyond any reasonable doubt. Now, are you with me or not? Okay. What next then? <laughs> oh, you love him. Just admit it. I do not love him. He's a stable hand. But you like him. Yes, he's attractive. <laughs> oh, Edith, stop being so prudish. It wouldn't be the first time a lady of the family engaged in this sort of thing. Yes, and look how that turned out. I'm not asking if you'd marry him. I'm just seeing if you'd have a fumble amongst the hay bales. Violet! <laughs> what? He's a nice boy, but as I stated, he's working stock. Ugh. What if you invite him to the county dinner on Saturday? Now you're just being silly. What? You've gone off your head! Oh, well, if you don't, maybe I will. Might be quite entertaining seeing people's reactions. <laughs> oh, God, you're angry, aren't you? It annoys you thinking of him with me. No. <laughs> I knew you loved him. Violet! <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Pretty good. Pretty darn good.